Hi there. The moment we've all been waiting for is upon us. Now this is a proud moment for all ceiling crashers, go-getters, dream chasers, and many more within Nigeria's new tribe, who are more than 77 and have gone on to defy all odds to change the face of Nigeria with their excellent works. I'm Francis Sule. And my name is Anita Adetoye, and we are the host for the unveiling of Africa's biggest youth awards, the Future Awards Africa 2019. We are gathered here from across the country and continent to celebrate the charismatic young individuals who will be nominated in 21 categories in the 14th edition of the Future Awards Africa. Nigeria's new tribe is defined by its unwavering belief in the power of innovation and hard work and in the power of empathy and social good. The soon-to-be unveiled nominees know that they are not too young to run and the power of their voice in the community, in the country and all around the continent. Yes, Anita, for 13 years we've seen the power of unwavering belief and we can tell you it never gets old. Ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to join us in celebrating Nigeria's new tribe. 105 outstanding nominees, all winners. The Future Awards Class of 2019, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the future! future. The awards celebrate young people between the ages of 18 and 31 who have had outstanding achievements in their various fields in the year under consideration. It has since been recognized by Forbes and is described as Nigeria's most important award for outstanding young Nigerians. Conceived by Chude Jijonwo and Adebola Williams. So Anita, mm -hmm. in 2017, you won the Future Award Prize for Beauty. Oh, yes, yes. Tell us yes. about that experience. It was an amazing experience. I'm sure. <laughs> right down to now, I still watch the videos. Um, it was an amazing, amazing um, feeling. And the Future Awards family just made me feel like family before the awards and after the awards. So yes, I love it. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, God will do my own for me. He's and doing it's our browser, not our mates. <laughs> <laughs> Drop mic. Hey. Right. My name is Anita Browse Aditoye. And I'm Francis Sule. And, and we're, we're still your host, host for the unveiling, unveiling of the Future Awards, Awards Africa 2019. 2019. Please remember to use the hashtags TFAA2019. And the hashtag Nigeria's New Tribe. To help us unveil the next set of nominees is the Executive Vice Chair of the Future Projects, Mr. Olumide Makonjola. Hi. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Very so well, thank tell you. me, how tasking is it to be the Vice Chair, selecting a nominee, even going through all of that list? I mean, the good thing with that is I don't have to do all of that myself. Mm. You know, there's, there's a title of the vice chair, but there's also a team of people and a group of people that do all the work together with the organization. Right, okay. But the thing is, I'm sure a lot of people want to know about the process. Like, when people send you all of that nomination, right? yeah, like, how do you then select, no, this is the person I want, is, is there like a committee? What is it? What is the process? So we announce, first of all, the, one of the, the, the beginning of the process starts with announcing the mm -hmm. award for the year. And then, you know, once we announce the award for the year, we do call for nomination. The call for nomination is available for about six to eight weeks okay. throughout, the, throughout that period. And then we claim nomination online mm -hmm. through our website. Mm -hmm. We advise as much as young people who know other young people doing great things to nominate, nominate each other, well. yeah. you know, or get people to nominate them, you know, regardless of wherever you are across Nigeria. Yeah. Because it's not just about Lagos, of it's course. about across Nigeria. And then we have the team in-house, you know, do a shortlist that is then sent to the central working committee, which include a lot of young people in different sector, in, you know, film, banking, legal profession, you know, health. They do a lot of review around the shortlisted nominees. And sometimes the shortlisted nominee can go up to about 500. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Depending. I mean, this year we've received over 2,000 nominations per category. What? Fantastic. Yes. So it means you'll be, I mean, you can imagine us having over 2,000 nominations for acting, yeah. fashion, per each category, actually. Oh, wow. And what we've done is to work with the Central Working Committee mm -hmm. to review the list and provide a short list of, you know, nomination. Mm -hmm. And then that list is sent to the Independent Holidays Committee, which is another set of young people, you know, away from the Central <laughs> Working Committee. So and they review. And the independent audit committee then do a short list that goes to the judge, which is another set of young people. Huh. Oh, wow. Yeah. So if you think you have a friend in such a working committee that will help you, you may not have a friend in the independent audit committee. Because I was about to ask, what's the primary task of the yeah. central working committee? <laughs> yeah. So the central working committee does a first review okay. mm. of all the nomination that is received. I mean, they look at the different category. And you know, the, com the committee is divided into different categories of the award. So you, have, you could have like two group looking at four categories. Of their award, oh, wow. and they look at the different areas. You know what people are doing, why have people been nominated, how far is their work gone. By the time it gets into the independent audit committee, it has gone through a lot of review. Mm. 
That's so another level. That's just another level on its own. And you know, that level is at the independent, you know, the independent audit committee is actually very quite important. Because that's the part that determines whether you get to the judging level or not. Oh, no. <laughs> so it's it's very vigorous. Um it's airtight, yet so transparent. So there's no one that can say who you know, somebody in the military is... And there's someone inside. Yeah, it my life. Sense. I mean, you know, okay. so one of the bizarre things is that there is no how, once you win the award, it's, it's a way to, to say to yourself that you actually deserve it. Mm. So it's not because you know somebody you know or you know yeah. somebody who knows somebody. Yeah. You know, and I think, and I, and I always like to, to say this every year, that I think I'm a testimony. I was nominated twice, but I never got the award. So what I'm going to do when I get home is I'm going to get my future awards. And then <laughs> put it in front of my door. No. <laughs> I said, guys, I deserve this. You need to yes. understand. I'll do throwback <laughs> posts. <laughs> so, as you said, I know you have a lot and a lot of nominations across the country. Mm -hmm. um, what advice would you give to anyone that's hoping to win or that wants to win the future awards? What would you tell them? I think, I think for me, it's, it's not about hoping to win or wanting to win. I think it's about just wanting to do what you do best. Mm. And what you do best gets you, to, you know, recognition, whether at Future Award or not Future Award or any other award. Mm -hmm. But the most important message is to young people is continue to do what you do best and then ensure that what you do is not actually what you want to do. Okay. And okay. be happy with what you do. Okay. And one day you get there. Fantastic. Okay. So any advice to the winners? What's a follow-up after yeah. the win? I think the follow-up is you know, that once you, want, once you win an award, there's a lot of pressure, pressure yeah. That, yeah. that comes with um, doing well. I think is the reality is do better than you were doing before okay. you won the award. So I'm going to ask you because you have back end gist. What is <laughs> like? What is into? Why, how how did you select this year's nominees? Like what is this? What was special about them? Don't tell me them. Shortlist the final. <laughs> how did you shortlist them? I think the interesting thing with Nigeria is, despite all the dramas, mm -hmm. you know, that we read on Twitter, on Insta blog, on Instagram, everywhere, they are really great people doing great work great across thing, yes. Nigeria. Right. And I think that, you know, having been part of the process, it's always very hard to select, to yeah. decide who should come first, who should go first, you know, how this person's work. But this year, we, we look really quite beyond just the huge suspect or the mm. huge things that happen within Nigeria. I mean, we've got people from Zamfara, from Bayesa, you know, and that's what we've been known for year in, year out. We're not looking for superstar already. We're looking for people yeah. who are doing great work. And yeah. that is a yastic which people were shortlisted yeah. this year. And I feel like that's what Future Awards should be about. Yep. You know, and that's what this is about. Fantastic. Yep. Fantastic. Great, great, great stuff. So, Mr. Olumide, please help us announce the next set of categories. And Thank nominees. you. The nominees for the Future Award Africa Prize for acting are... The nominees for the Future Award Africa Prize for Fashion are
The nominees for the Future Award Africa Prize for Professional Service are The nominees for the Future Award Africa Prize for Music are Thank you so much, Elimide, for thank joining you. us. Thank you, thank you. Always a pleasure. I think it's so exciting to see the incredible work young Nigerians are accomplishing, yeah, right? Definitely. Um, I currently think the future, in fact, I've always been thinking the future is bright. And please, I need sunglasses. Sunglasses? Please make that too. Sunglasses, <laughs> please, somebody. Don't go anywhere. Join us after <laughs> the break. We'll be joined by an alumnus of Future Awards Africa to unveil the next category. Yes. There has never been such a time as this where so much power lies in the hands of the youth. For too long, the youth have been disenfranchised and shortchanged, being offered breadcrumbs when they're supposed to own the bakery. Now, the new tribe of youth is more conscious of the power that they have. They are redefining the narratives in all sectors and institutions, both private and public. The new tribe won't take no for an answer. They won't stop at just tweeting. They are shaking tables and breaking barriers. I belong to the new tribe. I am Nigeria's new tribe. The future has come. Who is the new tribe? The new tribe is the trailblazer. It's the doer, the unpredictable one. The one who decides to do something with your lives. The one who says, no matter how young I am, I deserve a place right here. I belong here. I am the new tribe. The future has come. Welcome back and thank you to our past winners for sharing their encouraging stories with us. Please make welcome the 2016 Future Awards Africa winner for on-air personality, Bolanle Olukoni. Hi. Hello. Hi, Bolanle. How thank you, you so much for joining of us. Of course. Thank you for having me. So how excited are you about the Future Awards Africa 2019? I'm always excited about Future Awards Africa because it's such an amazing platform. I know that in so many ways, it really gives people in different industries the opportunity um, to be honored. And mm -hmm. we're talking about the youth. We're talking about young people. I've been part of this whole you know experience in mm -hmm. one way or another for the last three years and I'm really pleased to see how much it's grown since the last year um, last year I hosted and this year I feel like it's even more of, of a, sh a spotlight on what right. it is that young people are doing and I'm excited to be part of that okay. fantastic yeah so okay. speaking on young people how do you think young people are making any efforts to change their narratives I think it's I think it's there's never going to be one, you know, group of people who are doing all the same thing. I right. think when you think about the youth of Nigeria, when you think about young people, there's so many people who are doing so much good. But then there's also the issue where 
bad, new, bad news sells fast, you know? Right. So that's why it's important to have the future with Africa because we need to make sure the people who are silent but deadly in terms of making an impact in their industries, they need to be celebrated. And I feel like yes. that is what's, what is happening right here. Yeah, and I feel like that deserves a clap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. We need to yeah. celebrate them. Yeah. So. Okay, so while we still have you, because I know yes. you need to run, right? <laughs> Can you please help us announce the next category of nominees? The nominees for the Future Awards Africa Prize for Community Action are... The nominees for the Future Awards Africa Prize for Sports are Nominees for the Future Awards Africa Prize for Business are The nominees for the Future Awards Africa for on-air personality, TV or radio are...
young men, no connections, no money, no backing, just an idea. That the youth mattered and had a part to play. That the future leaders of tomorrow should now be present leaders of today. And even if nobody gave them the chance, they still had to make their voice heard. Their words count for something, for the good of society. Let's prove them wrong, these young men thought. Let's prove that our generation is not a wasted one. Uh, myself and my friends at that time, you know, we came across a lot of young people uh, who, who were seemingly hopeless and helpless in Nigeria. And at the same time, we also came across a few of those kind of young people who were, despite all the challenges in Nigeria, you know, we're making some bit of successes, you know, in different fields. And so they began the journey to make Africa's future count through empowerment, engagement and recognition. In 2006, with nothing but an idea, the Future Awards was born. 2007, and the dynamic team delivered with an even better show. 2008, the youth were making waves and the world was finally sitting up paying attention to the Future Awards campaign. 2009 was MI's year. He made his first major appearance on stage. 2010, the electrifying acts and performances of the night made the 2010 edition a show to remember and the unpopular like Tolu Shongo Sonya took home the awards. My first um, well-known award. Um, the other people in my category had mm. more of thousands of people they've influenced and all they wrote about me was Tolusha and Kusoya teaches children of the Dustbin Estate how to read and write 75 of them. 2011, everybody that mattered stormed the landmark village and a new standard was created. 2012, the president's photographer, Bayo Omobori Owo, was honored with the award just a few years after he had walked into the Future Project office for photography training. 2013, the Future Awards continues to unearth youthful talents and share their stories to a global audience. I worked in a bank, but the only time I realized um, that I was going to resign from the bank was when I won the Future Awards. I, I looked at I knew that. Oh, this thing makes sense. This thing looks big. The awards hit the continent and the whole continent embraced it. 2014 was another night of splendor and inspiration. Best of African youth converged as a unit. They pushed the Stop Ebola campaign. 